Today I'm going to be demonstrating and talking about how to maintain your dirt bike. Now, when you buy a dirt bike, you know, you can ride it and all that. And maintenance is not too tedious depending on what you buy, but you have to know how to maintain what you got. So, over at my compound, I've got, I used to have one four-stroke, never really got it running, but I've mostly just had two strokes. So we're not going to be getting into valves or anything like that. It's just going to be, you know, general maintenance that you do on any bike. So after every ride, it's usually a good idea to maybe, you know, take a few spots of dirt. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look um, as good as the my YZ looks. And that's not perfect. Like some people will clean them absolutely perfect. I just get a little bit off the seat, off some of the plastics, and then I spray a little bit of silicone on the plastics to make it so... Um, the dirt doesn't stick on it next ride. The most important thing that is the most short-term maintenance is your chain. So after every ride, just uh, run a rag through it and then uh, put some oil on it. Anything will work for oil. You can just use um, even premix if you want. I just don't because that is like the most expensive way. If you really want to deep clean it, you can put some gas on your rag and that will degrease your whole chain and then you can um, regrease your chain. And that is the most important thing about maintenance. That's just your chain and making sure that your cases are clean. And uh, the pre-ride checks is you just check every spoke. You know, you just go through real quick. This is something that I do maybe like once a week or before I go on a big ride. See right there, that one's a little. That one's actually a little loose. I've got a spoke wrench, and I can just go through and tighten up those spokes that feel a little loose because you don't want to lose those while you're out riding. And uh, another major one, especially something that's very important with four strokes, is changing your oil. That's why I keep an hour meter on all my bikes. For my two strokes, I change the oil at 40 hours because I just trail ride, I don't race. If you race, I suppose you'd maybe do it every 15 hours or 20 hours. But for this bike, my YZ250 40 hours is more than, you know, it's perfect time for this one and the oil's always clean. Same for this 85 right here. Oil gets changed every 40 hours. I do everything the same with my 85 as I do the 250. Longer term things would, uh, you know, be like maybe if you ride a lot, you do a once a week big wash with like a pressure washer or a hose. But I think after every ride, a good spot clean is perfect. Sometimes you want to maybe put a little grease on your bearings, but main thing that people forget is you just got to check those spokes. Even I forgot. I didn't even check those spokes up there. I haven't checked them in a couple weeks. And you can see these plastics stay pretty clean. I didn't clean that after my most recent ride. I cleaned the rear one and the seat. But the front fender, I'm putting this uh, really cheap like spray-on lube. I found it at Rocky Mountain. It was 99 cents a can. It was on clearance. I bought a ton of that, and I just... Put a light layer, light film of that on all the plastics when they're clean. And it really keeps the dirt off. I haven't done it to the 85. And the dirt sticks to it a little bit better. So yeah, that's my video on how to maintain your dirt bike. If you want a more in-depth one, let me know in the description. Otherwise, this is what you're going to have for now. And as long as you know that, you will um, not run into catastrophe. Because if you let your chain get too worn out then it can break and get shoved into your case and total out your engine, and it sucks. Subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.